Hello, my name is Vern Zentz. I live in Anthony, Indiana. I uh, will be a sophomore at Ivy Tech Community College this fall. Uh, my majoring in respiratory therapist. Uh, I'd like to reflect back to the year of 1969, the year I was a senior in high school, and I was fortunate enough to be an exchange student through the Future Farmers of America organization. Uh, there were 35 students uh, from the United States who got to go over to different countries and uh, live with the families and farm on the farms and, and farm the way they did and learn their cultures and the difference between theirs and ours. <clears throat> During that two or three month stay, uh, we got to uh, take a two week tour and go around Europe and 25 of us took advantage of that and we got to go to Denmark and Holland and, and uh, Berlin and Germany. Uh, got to stand on the Berlin Wall. Uh, we got to go to Amsterdam, Holland, and uh, different places like that, and uh, a lot of different historical places where we went that uh, had to do with World War II and the things that went on there. Um, <clears throat> after the two-week tour, we went back and stayed on the farms and finished out the three months, and then we uh, got to uh, have three days in London on our way home. And there was uh, 12 of us that took that advantage and went to London. And we got to go over and see the changing of the guards at Buckingham Palace. We got to see the Tower of Big Ben uh, in Westminster Abbey, uh, all the different places in London. And uh, most of us had not had any uh, American food from the time that we were over there, so we were all kind of hungry. And we found this eye out there in London, so we decided to go in there to eat. Uh, and we went and sat down and we ate in this Texan. Uh, I think he ordered everything on the menu because he was hungry and man, I don't know where he put it, but he did. He put it all away. So we went back the second day and we decided that uh, uh, we would go back and eat again and we did. And of course again we all chowed down on the uh, pancakes and waffles and all that good stuff that we hadn't had for a long time. The third day before we were ready to go home we went back to have breakfast and uh, the place was busy. Uh, and we had to stand at the door and we were talking about maybe going to a different place. Um, the owner, who is of Chinese descent, come running over and he goes, no, 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 no. He says, you, you wait right here, wait right here. He runs over and actually makes this table get up and move and I don't know where he put him, but he made him move to let us come in and sit down. And then about every two, three minutes he kept coming back and uh, he would ask us how it was going and where we were at and what we were doing. And uh, so it kind of gives you an idea, you know, how much money we actually spent uh, in his restaurant for those uh, three days before we left to go home. Um, on the way home, on the plane, I got to know this guy from Cleveland, Georgia, who uh, we got to be very good friends, and uh, we got to talking about the war between the North and the South. And, and uh, Emory told me, he says, you know, the, the North never really won the war. He said the South is just taking a long pause. And uh, he said that if his dad, or if his grandfather knew that he was on an airplane for six hours sitting beside a Yankee, he'd turn over in his grave. And uh, he also said that the only reason the South lost the war is because Sherman come and burnt down all their corn. Uh, they ran out of grits and they were starving to death, so they had to give up. So uh, that was uh, probably the greatest summer of my life, and I'll always remember that. Thank you.